Ah, the internet. That one place where people would rather call you out as being a fraud instead of believing that you've actually managed to do something. So I just posted up on the console modding section of boards.ie that I'd managed to install the homebrew channel on the virtual Wii uh, portion of the new Wii U. And the first response was, Hey, uh, that could be photoshopped for all we know. Uh, post a video of it. So, I guess this is a video of it. So as you can see, this is the Wii U. And before anybody calls fake to what I'm just about to do, if you have a look around to everything that's connected to the TV, at no point anywhere do you see an original Wii. I do have an original Wii. But it's in my bedroom. So, let's turn the sucker on. I do actually have one of these as well paired up to the console, so that should connect to. I'll I'll need that for the Wii mode. I don't know if you can see that. Do 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 do. Right, I'm going to pair this up because it's easier to use this while I'm holding the camera. And I'm going to need it for Wii mode anyway. There we go. My uh, Wii mode's a bit sticky. Food fell on it a couple of years ago. So, you can see I am actually, you know, controlling the Wii U with this. Why you'd rather just call fake rather than believe me, but anyway, I'm about to boot into Wii mode here. Now, for those of you that are familiar with uh, installing the Homebrew channel on software version 4.3 on the original Wii, um, if you've ever, th this is the game that you're going to need Indiana Jones and the. Uh, the what you call it <laughs> the software that you're going to use for this is Indiana Pones so so I'm not faking this this is Wii U mode of why is that not showing oh, there we go yeah it's Wii U mode of the Wii U it's original Wii mode I should say of the Wii U Alright, I'll start that. As far as I know, you can't actually install either of these on an original Wii. I haven't seen that being done yet at all. Um, so, I don't know how somebody would think I'm faking that. But okay. Um, so, as I said, the game that you're going to need is Indiana Jones. Uh, the original adventure, the Lego version. This was pretty hard to find for a while. But uh, I think now that you can do the whole letter bomb trick uh, on the original Wii it's kind of um, made that a little bit irrelevant I'll just wait for that to show up and again there's no GameCube disc here so this is the Wii mode of the Wii U and not me doing anything that I not me faking anything I, I haven't got the time to try and fake anything, it's like half two in the morning so why would I bother ay, 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 ay. this is going to take a while to boot up again Wii U there are no hidden Wiis anywhere behind there, anywhere behind the server or the speaker or Santa or headphones or anywhere you know, nothing so yeah Basically, the Indiana Pones hack is uh, you copy a game save. Oh, that's actually the one part of this that I'm not going to be able to show you because I already have a copy to the internal memory. It's basically you copy a game save uh, onto the Wii's kind of internal menu, and it's like a hacked game save which allows you to load the homebrew channel. Uh, you walk up to one of these characters in the courtyard and select an option and then boom it installs the homebrew channel do 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 do
Okay. Here we go. Let me go down here to the courtyard. And we walk across to some gallery thingy, I don't know, I've never actually played this game. I only bought it to hack my cousin's Wii <laughs> about a year ago. Right, so you walk up to this guy here. And you select this. And here we go. Boom. Uh, that's going to take a while. If you're familiar with doing this in the original Wii, it takes about a at the same amount of time. It's a, it's a little bit faster. The Wii mode on, on the Wii U is a, a little bit faster than the general Wii. Although, it is actually a pity that you can't use this with original Wii mode. Like, it doesn't... Um, it just turns itself off. It doesn't do anything. Come on. There we go. Now, another proof that this is running on the original Wii, uh, or that this is not running on the original Wii, and that it's running on the Wii U, is first of all, you'll see the borders on the TV. And um, actually, let me show you the back of the TV, just as further proof. So you'll know that you can't actually connect an original Wii with, um, with HDMI cables or anything like that. So, do you see, uh, you can, probably can't see that very well, but there are no Wii system cables connected there. The only one there is the Xbox 360 cable. So, nothing connected there. Let's go back around. Uh, and it also says that BootMe can't be installed. Now, BootMe can be installed, as far as I know, on every version of the original Wii, it kind of puts like a pointer into the NAND so that you could, <coughs> excuse me, so that you can rescue the system if you brick it. So, install the homebrew channel. Continue. This actually doesn't take too long. And success. Exit, and it will go straight into the homebrew channel. As you would expect. I don't actually have any homebrew on the SD card right now. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if there's any way that I can prove to you. Oh, I know. I know. I know. So let's exit to the system menu. And I'm going to try and do something a bit awkward here. But. I'm going to see if I can get you to see the Wii, you, and the TV at the same time. So I'm going to take the SD card out. And put it back in. See? It is the Wii U running it. And oh look! There's the homebrew channel. And just as some final proof for people who like calling fake, I'm going to boot back into Wii U mode. So, Wii U menu, start, and we're going to go back down here, this should power itself back on, that's already powered itself off, this should power itself back on. Let's have a look. See, it's already doing it. See? Well, there you go. That's how you do it. That's my method. And I'm not lying. I, I know there are people out there who post up fake videos, but I'm not one of those people. I just thought, oh, hey, look, this is fun. People on the console modding forum will get a kick out of this. But no, they'd rather cry fake. Oh well.